We ended part one of our Homer weekend with me living a dream. What are you thinking about? Getting to host your first show on TV. <laughs> It's really cool. <laughs> I've been waiting for at least four days for this. The weekend we were in Homer, Go To AK actually went on TV. And it's been a dream of mine since I was a kid to host an outdoor show. So we had to stop by Dugan's Pub and watch me live the dream. The anticipation was killing me. Here we go. And then it happened. Having a job where I can turn Alaskans on to what's going on in Alaska, well, it's a celebration type of thing for me. So, here's to you, Alaska. Thank you. Alright, I love all this celebrating, but now I'm hungry. My rides are okay. Here you go. Here's the key. You want to ride? Bad idea. I'll you ride out to. Just a few miles east of Homer is Rick and Charlene Klein's Homestead Restaurant. The locals all rave about this place, so we decided to head out to see if they had anything good besides their view. The homestead look on the outside translates into a home-like feeling on the inside, and the menu... Wow! Let's see, cranberry duck, basil fettuccine... Mmm, let's start with the shrimp. These are side-striped shrimp brought right out of Prince William Sound, and they are awesome. The first meal came out, and suddenly I was thinking, mm, maybe I should have ordered the mussels. Oh, those look good. Thank you. That looks good, too. New York? Yeah, New York strip. Elizabeth ordered the mussels, too, and I was beginning to think I'd made a wrong decision. I'm guessing her footage is going to be better than mine. <laughs> That is until my seafood curry arrived, and then suddenly all my doubts were behind me, and this was in front of me. Salud. Oh. Salud. The camera's got to click. That's the rule. Okay. <laughs> okay, I wasn't going to let the muscles completely escape me. Mm. One word review. Yummy. <laughs> That's always her one word review. <laughs> Yummy. This truly was a meal to remember in a city I can never forget. Yeah. Wave to the camera. Do I gotta say cheese? No. It's video. Oh, it's video? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't want things to end. We had a very early wake up call for halibut in the morning. Oh, you got to be kidding. Wait, halibut. Now, Timber Bay puts the breakfast in bed and breakfast, but if I don't get some of these in me, well, halibut fishing may not be quite as much fun. So we wave goodbye to our gourmet host and head out. Now, I was born in, raised in, and love maritime communities, and Homer really has all the things that make them great. And since we're going halibut fishing, well, to me, there's really no point in not getting a derby ticket. It's sort of like putting $5 on the Super Bowl every year. You got money to pay for these things? For the low price of 10 bucks, you get to add more than 10 bucks worth of excitement that you might actually win. Down on the Homer Spit, we hook up with Homer Ocean Charters. They've got halibut fishing, salmon fishing, sea kayaking, and water taxiing, and a great way to figure out what the weather's going to be. Today's weather very accurate. <laughs> Okay, got our derby tickets. We're getting ready to go fishing. I'm feeling like I'm going to win the derby this year, but the problem is it's raining. Fish don't like to bite when it's raining because they don't like to get wet. Okay, bad jokes aside, Homer is not a bad place to launch your halibut fishing adventure. You can launch from right in town, and with their half-day trips, you can be out on the fishing grounds in you know, a little over an hour. You might not encounter some of the really big fish on these half-day trips, but as someone who processed a lot of halibut in their day, anything over about 60 pounds starts tasting like a shoe. So now it's time to fish and cut bait. The poles go in the water and here they come. One after another after another. It's a halibut extravaganza. It's a keeper. Now the limit outside of Homer is still two fish apiece, and that wasn't hard to pull off. Yay! 
<laughs> Fairly quickly, I've got my first one on the boat, and I'm thinking, I'm on a roll. Or maybe not. Elizabeth is from Fairbanks, and she's a little more focused on getting the fish than fishing. This is like Fairbanks gold, ladies and gentlemen. While her arms are getting tired, a father and son who came from Minnesota, and a father who had never had hell before, well, his spirits are just starting to jump up. What are your thoughts, Elizabeth? I want another fish. More. More fish. And though the weather wasn't perfect, we did manage to get in some free whale watching and even spied a rainbow. Tina Day with Chamber the Homer Chamber snags that her fish limit. Is number two. All right, limit and out. And soon so do I. We're about two hours in. We spent fish after fish after fish. Got my limit. Any fish is yet. After several debatable keepers were thrown back, Elizabeth is ready to take what she can get. And just like that, the son from Minnesota catches his limit, and we are done. Proud Papa has to take pictures. Woo! Yeah, make it look bigger toward the camera, of course. Whoa! <laughs> and of course, you can't take pictures of the halibut without getting some pictures to commemorate the event, too. Remember. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers to a good weekend. Thanks Woo. for coming to Homer. Woo! <laughs> Well, we all got our limit in 90 minutes. That means every single one of us caught two fish. So Catch Mac Bay gets a big thumbs up. Homer always gets two thumbs up. Now, it's nice. We're going to get back and have a nice leisurely plane ride back to Anchorage. Ah. Our day's bounty are put into some totes, and our father and son team are ready to start up some fish stories. As we head towards the airport, we get a chance to look around and really revel in how much you can do in Homer and how quickly, with the help of the airport, you can get there. And after such a fun but exhausting weekend, I'm glad I'm only half an hour away from home. Our memories have been made and our chariot awaits. One last look at the Homer spit and the realization that a town I already loved, I just seem to love a little more.